good morning my dear students so uh, today i'm going to start a new chapter that is module 4 that is introduction to vibration okay so here uh, in the dynamics of machinery subject for your syllabus module 1 2 3 is related to dynamics of machine and module 4 and 5 is related to vibration okay so uh, so this uh, today i'm going to tell you about the uh, what you mean by vibration what are the different types of vibration and what are the terms we are going to use in a vibration to solve the problems okay so this vibration is very very important nowadays to understand the concept of uh, uh, vibrations uh, help us to know the where we are going to uh, what uh, uh, failure the machine component in a uh, any machine component okay so let me understand what you mean by vibration term so normally vibration is nothing but to and fro motion of any component is called as vibration or uh, when we are uh, sitting in our home or any place where we are fully or partially uh, touching the ground and suddenly earthquake comes which uh, shakes even everything so it is called as also it is one type of vibration okay so when we are going to sitting in a home when suddenly a earth uh, earthquake comes so then there is a whole entire vibration will take place okay so that is also it belongs to a vibration okay so second example if you take means uh, when a fully automatic machine stop rotating and in, in the uh, end vibrate too much uh, is also called a vibration okay the extraordinary motion uh, is uh, uh, the extraordinary motion of anything around us to be considered as a vibration okay so vibration is nothing but it is a uh, to and fro motion of a body from its mean equilibrium position okay so that is called as a vibration part so normally uh, in another definition if you stay uh, in a standard form of uh, definition of a vibration uh, we can call as uh, if, you, if you if you if you want to know the vibration definition as per your uh, syllabus uh, that is standard form so vibration is thing but the motion of a body or a system which repeat itself after certain interval of time is called as a vibration uh, so best example is called as you can take it as uh, swinging of a pendulum okay so normally the vibration uh, is uh, to and fro if you, if you tell the simple words means vibration means as to and fro motion of a, a particle is called as a vibration okay so vibration normally occur when the body is displaced place from its mean position uh, then the body return to its mean position um, due to a restoring force uh, hence it, vibration may occur okay so vibration occur where there is a rotating part or moving part in the machinery component okay so normally vibrations the most of the vibration is undesirable in a machine and the structure therefore the machine produces uh increase the stresses energy losses or increasing the bearing loads and the absorbed energy from the system okay for example if you take the motion of a plucked string okay so this is about the definition of vibration just to understand that the vibration is nothing but the motion of a body or a system which repeat itself after certain uh, interval of time is called as a vibration okay so and next one is uh, what are the main uh, causes of a vibration okay so cause of vibration is why the vibration causes in a machine component due to the first one is unbalanced force in the different parts of the machine so this is the first uh, reason and uh, a lack of lubricant between the two mating surface we are not going to use as frequently that lubricant between the two mating surface that is also one of the cause and the external load or a force which make the system vibrant and the fourth one is a lack of balancing of the forces in the machine part so if balance is unbalanced then there is a chance of uh, creating the vibration okay earthquake and the wind which may causes the vibration transmission in the telephone uh, line okay so wind uh, is the uh, best example for uh, creating a vibration in the telephone and the transmission system okay so not only this uh, okay so next one is the what are the harmful effect of uh, uh, vibration okay if uh, in a uh, harmful very very important for this um, uh, to know the understanding this harmful effect of a vibration okay so it normally it produces excess stress in a machine component and produces undesirable noise so this is also we can't hear the anything goes very much noise produced in the machinery component okay so reduce the machine element of your life and partial or complete the failure of a machine part energy waste okay these are the some harmful effect if vibration occur more in a machine component okay so next one is where vibration effect required where we are going to use the vibration okay uh, in nowadays okay that is the uses of vibration okay so in musical instrument we are going to use uh, to listen a vibration uh, in a to listen a musical instrument we are going to use vibration okay so in vib uh, in a vibrating screen also we are going to use and the stress relieving in the machine component we are going to use in mobile phones motion of turning fork and vibration in loudspeaker okay so these are the some uh, uses of that is the effect of required uh, when the vibration occur okay 
element uh, elimination or redu uh, reduction of uh, vibration how to reduce a um, vibration okay by using the shock observer in a vehicles by using a dynamic vibration in the observer using a isolator between the moving parts and the stationary parts okay these are the three elements we are going to use to eliminate our reduction of the vibration system so what are the different types of vibration okay so n number of different types of vibration but for your syllabus only the two that is free vibration and the forced vibration okay free vibration is nothing but natural vibration and forced vibration okay so in the free vibration as you know that as the name indicate free here there is no external force acting on this so such type of vibrations are called as what free vibration okay so force vibration means you are going to use the here external forces we will study in detail so free vibration here i shown the diagram the discrete mass amper system uh, displays at a distance of x1 and x2 okay when there is no external excitation force on a body or a body itself vibrate without any external force then the vibration in the body is called as a natural or free vibration so this means what here if the uh, the body which will uh, uh, vibrate itself only we are not adding any external force to vibrate such uh, type of vibration such type of the components such type of the system bodies are called as free vibration okay so this type of vibration occur when the system is set up within an initial input then the allow it the vibration freely okay a system with a free vibration vibrate with one or more uh, it's uh, of uh, more of its natural frequency okay what do you mean by second one is a forced vibration so forced vibration i think but when the body vibrate under the some external uh, forces and disturbance takes place then the displacement and the velocity uh, uh, will dis uh, when a body vibrate under the external time wearing a disturbance like a load displacement and velocity okay is called as a forced vibration just to understand understand that when a force is applied on any component then a displacement takes place okay uh, disturbance takes place such type of the vibrations are called as forced vibration here the external physical phenomenon may be periodic or a random input or steady state okay the periodic input can be a harmonic or a non-harmonic disturbance for example reciprocating of an engine vibration so this is about the force vibration free and force means free means no external forces exist force means here the, we are going to add to disturb the vibration uh, that is uh, to disturb the machine component to so that the vibration takes place hence it is called as forced vibration okay next means this is very important the fundamental of vibration or terms used in a vibration component that is a vibration uh, uh, part okay so first definition is periodic motion periodic motion means what when a body repeat it uh, its motion or itself after an equal interval of time then this motion is called as a periodic motion okay when a body moves when a body uh, repeat itself motion that is a repeated motion takes place in a one particular time uh, in a part some type, uh, particular interval of time then the uh, body then the motion is called as a periodic motion okay so time period means the time taken to complete one cycle the completion of taken uh, the time taken to complete one com successful cycle is called as a time period okay frequency means what a number of cycle moved uh, by a body per unit time is called as frequency okay frequency is equal to reciprocal of time period that also f is equal to 1 by t okay so that you can also write in the frequency next uh, definition fourth is uh, the amplitude of motion okay the maximum displacement of a vibrating body from its mean position is called as amplitude okay so from the mean position to the maximum displacement that the, whatever the data you are getting that is called as a maximum that is called as an amplitude of motion okay next one is a natural frequency okay the frequency of a free vibration of the system and it will be constant for a given system is called as natural frequency okay resonance so resonance is nothing but when the frequency of a external force is equal to the natural frequency of the system then the condition is called as a resonance and the amplitude of the vibration and the resonance become a more excessive okay so when the uh, external frequency uh, external force uh, is equal to the natural frequency of the system then such conditions are called as a resonance okay so this resonance will be studied in the later a big derivation will be there we will tell you that time okay so damping damping is nothing but it is a resistance of the motion of a vibrating body is called as damping resistant to the motion of a vibrating body is called as damping okay so damping term is very very important in the vibration chapter remember this definition throughout long your your career okay damping is nothing but the resistance of a motion of a body uh, that a vibrating body uh, is called as damping okay next so what are the different types of vibration they may ask you in the examination so i told no free vibration again in free vibration there are three types so in a free vibration the object is not under the influence of any kind of outside forces so hence such type of vibrations are called as a free vibration so again vibrations are three types of that is a longitudinal transverse and torsional vibration okay so longitudinal vibration nothing but i shown in the diagram also here the longitudinal vibration means the the body will uh, vibrate along the vertical direction along with the axis is called as uh, 
what longitudinal vibration so when the particle of a body moves parallel to the axis of the body then the vibration is known as longitudinal vibration okay so i mentioned here in the figure a so transfer vibration means when um, when the particle of a body moves nearly perpendicular to the axis of the body then the vibration is known as transfer vibration okay so here the transfer vibration is when the body is rotated in a perpendicular that is a pa uh, when the body rotate, uh, moves in nearly perpendicular to the axis of the body then the vibration is known as transfer vibration i uh, shown in the figure b okay so here the torsional vibration means when the particle of the body moves in a circle about an axis of the body then the vibration is known as torsional vibration okay longitudinal transfer torsion torsion is nothing but the body rotated around the axis of the shaft and transfer nothing but the perpendicular to the axis of the body parallel to the axis of the body so these three terms we are going to use uh, in a way solving the problem okay so this about the diagram uh, in terms of diagram definitions okay so next one is a forced vibration take a second part forced vibration is nothing but when a periodic uh, disturbance force keep the body in vibrating through a out in its entire period of motion is called as forced vibration so such vibration is said to be a forced vibration okay the frequency of vibration of the body is same as the frequency of the applied force so this is a condition that is f is equal to f not sin omega t as shown in the diagram okay so here the some force we are some external force we are going to touch we are going to add some uh, uh, component uh, that will be disturbed so that force is called as a forced vibration okay so again i show in the force vibration means um, uh, it is uh, when a time varying disturbance that is a load displacement velocity is applied to the mechanical system then such system such uh, vibrations are called as forced vibration okay the disturbance can be periodic a steady state input transient input a random input okay the periodic input can be harmonic or a non harmonic disturbance okay for example all this type of the vibration include the washing machine shaking due to a imbalance transportation vibration caused by the engine on uh, uneven road or the vibration of the building during the earthquake these are the comes under the forced vibration okay so these are the different types of vibration again uh, undamped vibration when no energy is lost or dissipated in a friction uh, or other resistance during the oscillation is called as a undamped vibration undamped vibration means there is no loss of energy okay so damped vibration means there is a chance of losing the energy uh, in a friction or uh, other resistance during the oscillation is called as damped vibration okay undamped means there is no reduction of energy uh, in damped means there is a loss of energy in a Uh, exponential manner is called as damped vibration okay linear vibration means when all the basic element of a vibrating system that is spring mass damper behave linearly such type of vibrations are called linear vibration non linear means if any one of the component behaves non linearly such type of the vibrations are called as non linear vibration okay so now the comes the term comes a degree of freedom dof so this also very important in the mechanical vibration chapter so degree of freedom nothing but it is the mathematical modeling of a physical system which require the selection of a set of a variable uh, that describe the behavior of the system okay so it is a Uh, variable that can be described the particular system is called as degree of freedom system okay for example the number of degree of freedom for a system is in the number of kinematically independent variable necessary to complete the describe the motion of every particle in the system okay so here i shown the sing, uh, degree of freedom so that is single degree of freedom multi degree of, that is a multi degree of freedom system okay in the single degree of freedom only the only one spring will be there so here that can describe the single of degree freedom but whereas in the second diagram that is multi degree here we are going to use number of springs so that is used in the uh, second degree of freedom or double degree of that is a uh, uh, multi degree of freedom system okay so next example of for single degree of freedom system is you here single crank uh, spring mechanism spring mass damper system torsional system here all are you are using only single coordinate okay mm. so example for two degree freedom system is you are going to two masses two springs so all these example i shown these are the all comes under uh, two degree freedom system okay so three example means again uh, three element that can be described for the uh, particular uh, element or machine that uh, comes under the three degree of freedom system okay j1 j2 j3 like theta 1 theta 2 theta 3 etc okay so example of infinite number of degree of freedom system that is a uh, uh, here we are going to you describe the n number of uh, degree of freedom system will be there so such type of uh, uh, part is called as uh, the body is or system is called as a infinite number of degree of freedom system okay so number of degree of freedom system are termed uh, define or the uh, parameter can be described so natural frequency so this is also very very important for the natural frequency in the vibration part natural frequency is nothing but it is a number of cycle described in a one second okay so you don't make confuse it is a number of cycle described in one second so in si unit the frequency is expressed in terms of a hertz and written as a capital h and small z okay which is equal to one cycle per second remember this natural frequency i am going to use this in oil solving the problem okay so this is about the uh, brief introduction about the vibration 
and the different types of vibrations what are the degree of freedom system okay what are the terms you are going to use in a vibration this periodic motion time period frequency okay uh, you have to from this question from this ppt uh, they may ask you around five to six more question okay what are the terms you are going to use the vibration and what are the different types of vibration you can explain at that okay so now just you understand that vibration is nothing but uh, the motion of a body or a system which repeat itself after certain interval of time is called as vibration okay for example swinging of pendulum so i hope you understand this model fourth that is the introduction part so next class we are going to study about the in detail about the problem and etc okay so i hope thank you you will understand thank you very much